in the fierce battleground of modern political and social discourse. The clash over freedom of speech, unchecked government power, and personal liberty burns intensely. These issues strike at the core of public interest, igniting passions on both sides. When we examine the pushback against freedom of speech and the creeping shadow of authoritarianism, it's clear that the concerns go beyond mere policy debates. They delve into the very soul of what it means to live in a free society. The offence of incitement to racial hatred involves uh, publishing or distributing material uh, which is uh, insulting uh, or abusive, which is intended to or likely to start racial hatred. So if you retweet that, then you're republishing that, and then potentially you're committing that offence. And we do have dedicated police officers who are scouring social media. Their job is to look for this material uh, and then follow up with uh, identification arrests and so forth. So it's a really, really serious. People might think they're not doing anything uh, harmful. They are, and the consequences will be visited upon them. The threat posed by heavy-handed government intervention, especially when it comes to policing online content, looms large. The chilling idea that a simple retweet, labeled as inciting hatred, could lead to prosecution, sends shivers down the spine of anyone who values personal liberty. This isn't just a legal issue, it's a moral battle for the heart of democracy itself. History offers us grim reminders, from the brutal regimes of Nazi Germany to the oppressive surveillance of the Stasi, of what can happen when freedom is traded for security. Today, those echoes are felt in the rising tide of fear over government overreach and censorship in Britain, as the struggle to safeguard freedom of speech becomes ever more critical.